My name is Kevin Reynolds. Uh, I am a co-director and a co-founder of the House of Faith Ministry. Okay. Well, what prompted it was really the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we're a faith-based organization. As you can see, my House of Faith t-shirt. Uh, we are, uh, we, we make no apologies about that. And that's really the, what, what the Lord did. He, he stirred up some people to begin praying. And uh, uh, my wife and I and another couple, uh, Bob and Rachel Beaver, we just started praying about wanting, you know, asking the Lord, what can we do to really impact the lives of kids in the community that are not going to church? And, uh, and this is what he led us to do. Every time I'm there, it's very memorable. And some of those are, are very, you know, some of my favorite ones. But uh, I think my, my favorite of all uh, would be the very first day. Uh, because it was phenomenal. I mean, we didn't know what to expect the first day. That was uh, January 24th, 1994. And we didn't know what to expect and how many kids. We were prepared for maybe, you know, 30 kids, but we had 63. And we were almost overwhelmed by that, but it was just phenomenal because they were so excited and they loved us being there. And uh, we were in their neighborhood and they were very comfortable and they were very, very receptive. And the message that we were communicating, the gospel message, was something that a lot of them had not really heard in a way that they could understand. And so having the opportunity to say that to them for the first time, it was just, it was just amazing. Our ministry uh, reaches 44% uh, are Hispanic. The last year we did the statistics, 44% uh, Hispanic, 28% uh, uh, are uh, white or Anglo, and then 27% African American. Then there's just a little tiny few of others. We started out with just elementary, but we have children that are three and four years old all the way up through post high school graduate, I mean, uh, uh, college age kids. And we have different programs that are in elementary, uh, for middle school, for high school, for college, so we have all kinds of things. Okay. Well, there are a lot of good things in this community for kids to do and uh, a lot of uh, activities for them to be involved in, uh, but the kids that are not involved in a church, having a faith, uh, teaching, understanding, a moral, spiritual foundation being being planted in them, there's not another option. I mean, they, they, have, they would have other uh, opportunities to do things like uh, secular things, but where would they be? They would be growing up like so many of the kids in this community and, and across the nation. They would be growing up without an understanding of the basic moral fabric uh, of what is critical for somebody to, to learn while they're young to grow up to be uh, godly individuals. So they would be without that, so many of them. What I like about House of Faith is that it's cool and everybody wants to learn about House of Faith and God. I love House of Faith because I get to talk to God and if I have any problems, he's the one to talk to. If I don't want to talk to it about my mom. And I know he's in the room, but he's invincible. Invisible. That's why I love House of Faith. Because he's right there watching all of us who love him, care for him. Well, um, where I just come here and learn about Jesus and get a little free time just to um, play. And and we get a little snack, and I get to meet Marcy and new people, and I get to see some of my friends here, and some of the new people, and I get to see my own stuff on TV. Well, it benefits the community in several ways. One of my favorite ways is the bringing together of different people from different groups. We have a volunteer base and a donor base that is across the map. I mean, it'd be hard to find a church or a group that uh, doesn't have somebody that volunteers with us or who participates by uh, you know, helping us to fund. So bringing together all of those different groups, denominations and groups and different believers and community groups, that's a real plus. Uh, another benefit to the community is an opportunity for children to be in a good and a safe place where they can uh, be supervised by us but are also learning things that are qu uh, character building and moral and spiritual principles. By far the uh, largest uh, of our programs is the elementary of which today we're at uh, Goliad Elementary School. Well actually Goliad is just a block away and so we're in, in the, uh, the parking lot right now in the, in the yard of a church that's nearby. 
And so the largest uh, percentage of all that we do is elementary, by far. So we probably have, we pack for about a thousand kids every week. And so all of those kids don't come every week because that's, you know, it's like church. Everybody that belongs to a church, they don't all come every Sunday. And so all the kids that are, you know, belong to this program don't come every week. But we pack for about a thousand, that's really about 3,500. Uh, children and then we have junior high and high school but not near that many. <laughs> My favorite thing about House of Faith is being the, given the opportunity to be the hands and feet of Jesus. I know that if Jesus were to come to San Angelo today uh, on a Wednesday afternoon uh, at, from between 4 and 5 30 he would be at House of Faith. I believe that. But he's not here instead he sent us so that's my favorite opportunity is just to be with the kids to to love them and in jesus name and to teach them i just love that and never gets old <laughs>